Um, well, first of all, how are you going? Uh, last preparations, it's getting very close. It is getting really close. It's been, um, I guess this is week 11 for us and our draftees came in, I think week three. So it's been a, a short preparation, but a, a really positive one. And we're just so excited for Saturday now. Do you feel ready? Absolutely, yeah. I think there's there's a question between how much preparation you can do versus how ready do you feel. Um, I feel confident that our players are ready and myself, I feel ready too. Um, yeah, I suppose it's, it'd be excitement and everything else, but as a head coach, how are your preparations personally? <laughs> it's funny, like uh, my job, the core of my job is making sure my players are prepared and, and feel confident and ready to perform. and. Um, that's also the most enjoyable part of my job. So in, in that respect, I, I'm definitely ready and I'm excited to see what they can do on Saturday. How much of a calming influence is some of the senior players like Aaron and <laughs> I suppose Justin and, and the whole leadership group? Yeah, we do have a, a really special leadership group. Um, we've got a group of people who are really experienced as well. And so um, Juzzy, I'm not sure are we announcing milestones or anything like that. Juzzy, Juzzy will play her 50th. Um, and that speaks to her level of experience as well. So, yeah, we've we've got a fantastic group of players. We've got a big group of players who've never played AFLW before. But yeah, again, back to your first question, feel really confident in our preparation, and and we feel ready. Is there a bit of pressure there for the first game being away from home? In Perth? I think it's just another opportunity for us to spend more time together. To be honest, um, we had a nice preparation where we got to travel to Melbourne as a whole squad and play a practice match against Essendon. So that leads us in really nicely to a travel game in round one. Did you guys learn much from that pre-season game against Essendon? I think there's a whole bunch of things you learn in, in a practice game and I've exposed them to situations that suited us and also put them in situations as a playing group which wasn't perfect as well and, and we learned from those things. So yeah, again, uh, really happy with how we've prepared. How close are you to knowing the 21 for round one? We'll announce our squad Friday afternoon. So, um, yeah, we're pretty close. We obviously still have two training sessions this week. How important will they be for players trying to get a game, I suppose? How important? If there's anyone, yeah, those two training sessions. Oh, um, well, I think you just try and be consistent in, in what you do over pre-season. So, um, you know, you just, my message to all of our players this week is, is train how you want to play. And so I'll be looking for that from our whole squad. Mm. Um, there's going to be so many little firsts. For example, first goal scorer. What, what's, <laughs> what's that going to be like, do you reckon? Oh, I honestly haven't that thought about that. Yeah. Um, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Uh, one thing our girls like to do is score. And so uh, we'll be looking to do that. And yeah, wh whatever that first goal looks like, I'm sure it'll be a heap of fun and really exciting. Give us a prediction. Who's going to who's oh, no. the first <laughs> I'd be quite happy for it to be anyone, to be really honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> I'll be, yeah. The, wherever that lands is, is where it lands. You're playing, oh sorry, sorry, you're playing West Coast, their last year's, or last season's, I should say, Wooden Spooners. How do you think you're going to match up against them and what are your expectations for the game? I think West Coast have had, they're probably in a similar position list-wise to us where they've probably ahead of us in terms of they've got a little bit of continuity in their list. They've got a number of players that have been with them since their first day, um, but they've also had a lot of change on their list, um, particularly recently. So. Um, they might be in a similar position to us where they're just trying to trying to build some team consistency um, and there'll be some fresh faces who, who have a point to prove as well. So we'll be ready for that and I think it'll be a hotly contested game. Mm. I think you've got 16 players I counted out today on your list who haven't played yeah. AFLW before. Um, how do you sort of prepare them to go to the next level? We've done so much work over this pre short pre-season to prepare every one of our players to play W. Um, and so, yeah, without taking an hour of your time, Liz, I think there's, there's been huge amounts of preparation for that group. And, you know, there's, there's things you can do on field and then there's a whole, whole range of off field preparation you can do. Um, so, we're, yeah, we're really confident with where we've gone with that in the last 10 weeks. Does it feel like a really, I suppose, <coughs> tight knit group, like a really intertwined group? Yeah, it is a really nice feel. I was just chatting with Juliet Haslam, our head of AFLW. Um, just a bit earlier today around even the Essendon trip that we made in that pre-season practice game and how nice it was just being away together and how our group gels together and um, yeah you wouldn't know that as Liz has said 16 of, of our list of 30 haven't played W before they they go about their business really well and probably speaks to the culture that we've 
try to build since day one of even our first signing is about what sort of culture we want to build within our within our team here at Port Adelaide. Was, it, was that easy or did it take some time? <laughs> Nothing worthwhile is easy. Um, there's good people make things easier um, but certainly you know there's challenges every day in what we do and very grateful to have great people around us. How likely will it be that we'll see Hannah Ewing's debut <laughs> on Saturday? Uh, you'll find out Friday, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to tell you, um, but yeah, our team will be announced Friday. Yeah. Yeah. And just on Justine Mills playing her 50th, yeah. can you give us some insight into maybe what she's meant for the club and for women's football? Um, actually, I think there's 12 players playing their 50th game. Amazing. On yeah. 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 Uh, I think speaking from a Port Adelaide perspective, Josie's almost one of those heart and soul players well she is um, just the vibe that she brings to our group her ability to turn up and just grind and work hard and set a standard on that sense but also just be really fun and engaging with every single player on our list that's really important when you build a team and so Justine's really taken another step forward in coming to Port Adelaide and, and has taken on leadership responsibility and, and ownership of what our co culture looks like and um, yeah couldn't be happier to have Justine in our environment and Really looking forward to seeing her perform in her 50th. Mm. Can I ask you about Ebony O'Day for an update on her lungs? How's she going? Yeah, she'll be a test this week. We'll, um, we'll see how she goes. Um, obviously copped a, a nasty knock uh, in our first practice match. Um, but So we'll, we'll see how she goes this week.